this is Lady Boulay, and I hope you're having a most marvelous day. Thank you for your support. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your thumbs up, for your comments, and thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for all you do to support the channel. And yes, we are commanded to love one another, whether we want to or not, or whether we agree with each other or not. We are commanded to love one another. Well, today I want to talk about one of my favorite actresses, Carrie Washington. Carrie Washington is a beautiful, talented, and very accomplished actress that I have always enjoyed. She always gives a very, very good performance no matter what she's doing. Even when she was playing Olivia Pope in Scandal, I fell for that show from the very beginning because it was exciting to see a young, beautiful black actress playing the lead role in a dramatic series, and she delivered every week. I liked her with Tony Goldwyn. I liked the whole cast of Scandal. And I really liked the plot line. I liked the fact that they solved the problem by the end of the show. So Scandal was my must-watch on Thursday nights. But after about the third or fourth season, Scandal began to wear thin with me because she went from being a businesswoman who was out there solving crimes to being a pass-around girl, the president's mistress, which started to wear kind of thin, and then it just went crazy. So after so many seasons, I just hung it up. So I have no idea how Scandal ended. But because she was so successful in that show and brought in so many viewers, I think that opened the door for other black women to be lead characters in a dramatic series. So I really like Carrie Washington and I enjoy her performance, whether she's on television or in motion pictures. Kerry Washington is also known for being very, very private. She does not talk about her personal life. She rarely mentions her husband or her children. In the past, if anybody asked her anything about her personal life, she says, I don't talk about my personal life. And she is very blunt and she is very to the point and she makes it very clear that she doesn't talk about her personal life. So I was very surprised to read that she was sharing a very intimate and a very personal family secret. And I thought, Carrie Washington, Miss Secret, in all things personal, is sharing this? And does the public really need to know this? So I'm, I'm asking, does the world need to know your family's business? So this is what she said. Carrie Washington is the only child of Earl and Valerie Washington. Her mother is of Jamaican descent and her father is from South Carolina. So she is African American and Jamaican descended. So she discovered in 2018 when Henry Louis Gates, who was doing a series on PBS called Finding Your Roots, wanted to do Kerry Washington's ancestry. She agreed to appear on that program, but when she told her parents about it, they said no, they didn't want to do it. So Henry Louis Gates called the parents, trying to urge them to participate in that program, and the parents said no. And after some discussion, from how I read it, they explained to him why they did not want to appear on Finding Your Roots. Because you know that is where he goes back and digs up everybody from the old slave master to wherever they got off the slave ship in the United States. So finally the parents told him that Kerry Washington was born of a sperm donor. So Earl Washington, the man that she had always called dad, is not her biological father. Now, this really is a family secret. 
And it's something that could cause anger or trauma or any number of emotions for a person to find that out when they're 35 or 40 years old. She has written a book, Thicker Than Water. So you know the saying goes, blood is thicker than water. So that's the name of her book. And she talks about that in her book. And so I was just wondering, is she, you know, <laughs> for somebody that's so private, she would share something like that in a book. So is this about trying to tell the public her story? Because that's what she says she's doing now. She's telling her story. But she's exposing her parents, in my opinion. Telling her story, writing a book with something somewhat sensational. And I'm just wondering, is she doing this just to sell books? Basically throwing your parents, especially your father, under the bus in a way. Because, you know, he's the one that's not the biological parent. And so she said that he really wasn't crazy about her sharing this information, which sounds like he did not want to share this with the public, but she did it anyway. So, you know, I don't know if that's anger. I don't know if that's wanting to be open about her life telling her story, which everybody really doesn't need to know this. So my question would be, was she just doing this to sell a book? Especially given the fact that she's so private. There are some actresses that will tell you every time they go out to dinner, every time they have a tooth pulled, every time they go to the spa, they tell everything. And so when they tell something like this, you don't see it as being salacious. They're just telling the next thing that happened in their life. But with Kerry Washington being so private, she's going to tell us that her father is not her father. And then she goes on to say, but, you know, she still loves him just the same. And he's still her dad. And now she loves him unconditionally. Well, in fact, she should because they gave her a very, very good life. Kerry Washington was one of the few black girls that went to the very private and expensive Spence Girls School in New York City. She also went to college at George Washington University in Washington, D.C., which is one of the best universities in the country. So they have given her a great life. So, I mean, I realize it's a slow day in Hollywood and writers are on strike. People are not working, and everybody wants money, so everybody thinks, well, I'm just going to write a book about my life. But when you write a book about your life, you got to share something about yourself that people didn't know in order to make people want to read the book. So I just sort of see this as her sharing something that's very personal and very private, maybe to sell books and maybe I'm being too critical but I have just known her to really snap people up when they ask her questions about her private life something as simple as how long you have you been married I don't talk about my personal life or how many children do you have oh I don't talk about my personal life now all of a sudden well my dad is really not my biological dad so <laughs> it just seems a little bit weird to me and maybe she's being very sincere and she says she wants to help people. But to be honest, I don't know who this is going to help. And I can believe that sharing this information with the public might possibly hurt her parents. Carrie Washington is 46 years old and she's now learning that who she thought was her father is not her father. I'm sure that is traumatizing on some level. But finding out that your biological father was a sperm donor has to be hard to take. So I will reserve my judgment and hope for the very best for this family. Okay, so in closing, <laughs> I just thought this was kind of strange coming from this very, very private person 
But let me reiterate that as far as her being an actress, she is a very good actress. She's very beautiful, but she just doesn't come across as somebody to share something this private with the public. So that's why I'm doing this video. I'm just really surprised that Kerry Washington, of all people, would write a book sharing something so personal. But what do you think about that? Maybe just maybe I'm over, you know, maybe I'm overthinking it. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share the video. And as always, have a great day.